Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com I'm back at the reviewers table and today we've got the Celestron Skymaster 20x80 binoculars. So then, let's take a look. Well, I bought these binoculars for the purposes of astronomy and you may wonder why I didn't go for a telescope. The simple fact is that these are so much smaller and lighter than a telescope of a comparable price range and considering I have to walk about a mile out of time to get to some nice, clear, and light polluted skies, I thought it's probably a better bet to be putting these in my bag than traipsing up there with a telescope on my back. The only real downside to binoculars rather than a telescope is you're going to have smaller objective lenses and you're stuck with whatever magnification the binoculars are. In this case it's 20 times, and to put that into perspective, if you were to look at Orion's belt through these, you would just about get all three stars into the viewfinder. Now then, the real question. How good are they? Well, I've got to say I am very impressed. They give a very nice, clear and crisp image. And these lovely big 80mm objective lenses at the front certainly gather an awful lot of light. So you see plenty more stars than with the naked eye. Um, give you a rough example, if I look at Orion's belt I can normally see the three or maybe a fourth star on a very clear night. Through these, from semi-light polluted areas, I'm normally picking up about 60 to 70 stars in the same area and on very very good conditions in very dark sky I've been able to see well over a hundred stars with them. I've also managed to get some good views of Jupiter and three of its moons as well as Saturn with a clearly defined little line to denote where the ring is. I also like to take these out for some daytime viewing and climb little hills in the area so I can see the landscape around me. And it's got to be said, they give a very nice crisp and bright image in the daytime. And amazingly, I've been able to spot tiny, tiny shadows moving around, which have turned out to be people walking around over nine miles away, which if nothing else, I think it's quite an incredible feat. All in all, it's got to be said, I am very impressed with these. Been using them for about, I don't know, over two months and haven't really got any complaints at all. The only thing that I would say is definitely something to consider is that you're very likely to need a tripod as even though they're much lighter and more portable than a telescope, they still weigh in at around two kilograms. And being this big, as you can see, Trying to hold these still without the support of a tripod is definitely a challenge, if not impossible. So, take a look at sortofinteresting.com or click on the link in the description to see my full review and links to this on Amazon, hint hint. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Until the next time, have fun and keep it interesting.